Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on a telegram channel called Forbidden Science. Please check the description to know more about the channel. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In modern Great Zimbabwe, the remains of the old town of the early 12th century were found. We found traces of active trade, large-scale mining of ore, developed blacksmithing, which indicates an unusually high, compared to its neighbors, level of cultural development in the city. Well-designed planning of the city, separating fortified stone part and wooden settlement for poor people. Numerous stone temples. Simply put, poor hungry pygmies, as the Africans are now represented as, were not capable of creating such a thing. All the evidence adds up to a picture that there was an advanced civilization, of which, however, the history is silent. But you can read about the primitiveness of the population in any textbook. You have to agree that the slab-lined terrace at Lake Shura in Kakasha is hard to take for a natural formation. The stone blocks are too equally shaped and perfectly matched to each other. The plates of Lake Shira were mentioned due to the study, which was conducted by Genady Kovalenko. The conclusion of the Siberian scientist is unambiguous, this masonry has an artificial origin. The study showed that, unlike all other shoreline rocks, the fragments of these plates have magnetic susceptibility. The rectangular blocks on the southwest shore of Lake Shira are particularly well preserved. The gaps between the plates are completely absent. On the eastern shore, 15 slabs with cut ends were found. The megalithic masonry on the Shira Lake is not inferior to the analogues in ancient Egypt or South America. Could it be the legacy of an ancient civilization? But who and when could have created this mysterious object? What was its purpose? The Polish village of Grabowo is suddenly famous for a sensational find. An ancient sword was unearthed near it during the extraction of limestone. The find is at least 2,000 years old, but the age in it is not the most valuable thing. Spectrographic analysis showed that the sword contains 90% aluminum. You may ask, what's so unusual about it? People didn't start mining aluminum until two centuries ago. In the Mediterranean Sea, on the island of Sardinia, there are quite a few impressive objects of the past, created about 4,000 years ago. The unknown civilization of the island perfectly processed megaliths, created everything in the right geometric shapes, but all this is not so important. An interesting well, called Santa Cristina. The well is considered sacred, and it was built from machine blocks. There is a hole in the roof of this structure, into which, as it turned out, every 18 years and 6 months, the moonlight perfectly spills. In addition, the day before the moonlight, at midnight, from the hole in the sky you can see the position of the star Sirius. The ladder itself into the well, was created at a special angle of 38 degrees, and obviously this is not just for fun. Mainstream scientists have not figured out how, 4,000 years ago, supposedly the ancient people so calculated and built everything. But the fact remains. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. 
and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Two hundred years ago, Russia had a subtropical climate. As strange as it may seem, but there are many obvious inconsistencies and facts in the history, which are completely contrary to the official chronology. There are many such facts, but for starters, it is fruit not typical of many parts of modern Russia. Well-known Pushkin wrote about pineapples, which he tasted at the landlord in the Kaluga region. Also, about 300 years ago, there were vineyards, not only in the southern cities as now, but in Russia in general. In St. Petersburg, for example, there were palm trees, as well as in Moscow. Now, all this can be seen only in some southern cities. But most interestingly, in the Skov Chronicles there were mentions of crocodile attacks in 1581. But if you consider these and other facts, what could have caused the climate to change so much over several centuries? The photo from the 1980s shows excavations in Kiev on Lavriska Street. They are excavating an 18th century building, which for some reason, was almost completely underground. But not for two centuries cover the whole building with a roof with a cultural layer. Such uncultured people. And where to get so much land. If only not broth, not cataclysm, and in the dates quite fit. Another issue of Technica Young, 1936, describes the revolutionary CHP technology. In short, the problem with expensive electricity was that to produce it, you had to heat water steam to 365 degrees and then create a pressure of 200 atmospheres. And the metal parts from such numbers were covered with scale, rusted, and required frequent replacement. But in 1914, the first mercury water stations appeared. Already in 1933, such a unit worked on an industrial scale at the General Electric Company station. And it seems everything was fine, mercury at 8 atmospheres gave 500 degrees, the equipment does not oxidize and rust, and installation takes 10 times less space. The world was on the verge of cheap electricity, and, as it turned out, World War II. Countries had no money, cheap electricity with expensive initial construction, was not part of the plans for post-war reconstruction. Too bad, the current electricity bills don't suit me at all. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.